week at chapel, we're starting to study in our kids' classes about Psalm 23, which is a really famous psalm about how God is like a shepherd. And one of the cool things about how God is like a shepherd is that he guides us. And so that's what we're going to learn about today, how God guides us. Now I have a question for you. The question is kind of silly. What animal do you think would be the hardest to train? To train it to do tricks or to train it to do the things it's supposed to? What animal do you think would be hardest to train? We have a dog that has been our pet for six years and we have trained her to do some funny little tricks. But some animals aren't so easy to train. Like, say a spider. I have never tried to train a spider, but I feel like that might be hard. What do you think? What animal would be the hardest to train? Some animals are actually pretty easy to train. In fact, one of the animals that loves to do whatever its master says is a sheep. And in the Bible, God says that we are kind of like his sheep and he is our shepherd. The first verse in Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd and I have everything I need. You see, God takes care of us just like a shepherd would take care of a sheep. Now, what kinds of things do you think a sheep might need? I was thinking that a sheep would really like a nice meadow with grass where it could eat the grass and it could lie down in the soft green grass. So I have some, some green fabric here. Maybe you have some things in your house that you could help make a little sheep habitat and we could provide all the things a sheep needs. So you can see what you can find in your house to create one. I found some green fabric for some grass and I thought a sheep probably also needs water because sheep need to drink water. So I pulled out some plastic wrap. It's kind of like a shimmery thing that reminded me of the reflections on water. So I'm gonna put my water here beside the grass so the sheep can have some water to drink. And then I thought I should probably build a fence or a little pen for the sheep because at night the sheep um, could be attacked by wild animals and we want them to stay safe. So I'm going to build a little, a little fence around here so that the sheep can have a place to stay at night that will keep them safe. Let me put some more here. And then I have a big cotton ball to be my sheep. So maybe you have something that could be your sheep. I'm going to put it in the pen for right now. And out here, this is a little black puff ball. We're going to pretend like that's the wolf that's going to stay way outside the pen because the shepherd, I've got a spoon for my shepherd, the shepherd is making sure that the sheep have everything that they need. And the shepherd um, actually guides the sheep into safe places or into places where the food is or into places where there's water, all the places that the sheep needs to go the shepherd guides them there. Later in the Bible in the New Testament, there's a book called John, and it shows us what Jesus said about shepherds. In fact, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, and the sheep know my voice, and they follow me. So if the shepherd wanted to lead the sheep to water, because the sheep know his voice, the shepherd would, would call out to the sheep, and they would follow him, See if you can make your sheep follow your shepherd. They would follow him down to the water and the sheep could have water to drink. And then when it was time for the sheep to go back to the pasture because they were hungry and tired, the shepherd would lead them back into the pasture and the sheep would go. And then the shepherd would keep watch at night so that if, if a wild animal came up, the shepherd could chase them away and keep the sheep safe. And so Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. And just like a shepherd watches over his sheep and leads the, shepherd, leads the sheep where they should go and the sheep follow him, that's how we can follow God. He will guide us in all the right places. He will guide us to where we need water or food. He will guide us to the people that he wants us to love. He will guide us when things are hard or maybe there's something that feels like it's attacking us. God will guide us and protect us, just like a shepherd cares for his sheep. 
And that's a really important thing for us to remember this week, that when we don't know what to do, or we're not sure how we should do something or how we should treat other people, we can trust God because just like the shepherd, he cares for the sheep and will guide us in the best ways. We can trust God just like the sheep, trust the shepherd, we can trust God to guide us and we can follow him because we know he will lead us in all the right places. So I have a great song for you to sing together at home and it's called God Will Guide Us. And it talks about just that, that even when there are difficult times or there are things going on that we don't know what to do, we can trust God. He will guide us and give us everything we need, all the strength, the power, the encouragement that we need to go the right places and do the right things as God guides us. So enjoy worshiping at home and I'll see you next week. <laughs>